How's it going guys? Welcome back to another adventure. We're up in Mundaring today. We're going to start the Captain Fawcett track. I not get the whole way along, we're kind of just going to go along, see how we go, have a bit of an explore. Uh, we camped at the Lane Pool in the Lane Pool Reserve last night at Nanga Mill, I think it's called. Lovely, lovely spot there. You kind of just rock up and pick a spot and then you pay your fees for how many nights you're staying. We've got Bevan with us today. He's airing down the tyres. So, let's have fun and see how we go, eh? So just come down here and there's this little gully thing and there's just all these wild berries all over the place tons of them all there they're all up there as well just everywhere and lots of march flies but yeah they're just everywhere and they go way down there pretty awesome just come over driver's road so that's about the 20k mark of the captain Fawcett track we're now into more steep hilly terrain with quite washed out but then once you're up on top of the, once you're up on top of the flats there is quite a bit more smooth section where you can actually get a bit more speed up and before you hit driver's road the first 20 k's or so it's very just potholy and you couldn't really get into second gear I 
Aren't you here with me? Am I out of my mind? Or is this how it should be? You made me sing about love So just tell me if I'm wrong But it feels like love Yeah, it feels like love Yeah! Due to a lot of bauxite being in these hills up in WA here, there's a lot of mining going on. So as you can see, the current trail we're on has turned into a bit of a logging road. Saw a big logger and an excavator back there. They're cutting up and all this trail has been used by logging trucks. So it's been turned into more of just a dirt road rather than a full drive track. All along the river here there's just these campsites that you can find. This one's actually marked on our Hema map, the others haven't been. And you're actually allowed to camp here. Um, along the, most of the Captain Fawcett track you can't. There's a lot of river access spots but you're technically not actually allowed to camp there. You will get moved on by the ranger if he sees you but this spot here is lovely. River's here, let me give you a turn around. <clears throat> River's here camp right here. It's just a lovely spot along here. This is kind of just off the Captain Fawcett track a bit. So now from here we're going to go off the track and we're going to head down towards a place called Hoffman Mill. It's a nice little campsite. From what I understand it's about to get closed so we want to come try it out. We want to go have a look at it sometime. So let's shoot down there and have a look. We'll see you when we get there. How cool is this? We're just exploring this area. Someone's built a bar at this little campsite. Really is amazing the things you find when you're out exploring, eh? Like, someone's actually come out here and built a proper bar. It's pretty cool. Buddy-o, we have made it to Hoffman Mill. Lovely little spot here. I think we might camp here next time we come down. We did about 40 k's of the Captain Fawcett track today. Good fun, not too hard, but in winter, when, oh, just after winter, I can imagine it would get quite difficult. Um, it would be pretty wet and there were a few decent ruts out there that would get pretty hard. But the time of year we did it, mid-Feb, pretty dry. There's only one real bog hole we had to go through. But yeah, so we'll split this into parts. We'll come back and do the rest of it. The whole track is about 105 k's. So we'll see how we go. But for now, we're going to sign off. We're going to head home. So we'll catch you on the next Cheeky Adventures. Cheers.